His Spirit's awesome. His power is awesome. I felt it all over my life in the past two years. In fact, this past Wednesday, it's been two years since I've had His gift in me. Since I've had it. And about a month ago, it was, it's been two years since I've been here at this church. I can't tell you how great the awesome experience has been since I've been here. God is great. He is awesome. He wants to take you places that you've never been. He wants to sh tell you, you ain't seen nothing yet. Don't give up. Keep going. It's just, it's just a powerful point there. You ain't seen nothing yet. Because it is so true. You know, so many people give up. And they, they just give up and they turn to so many things that don't help them at all. Well, as I said before, keep going. Keep your life going. Don't give up. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. His power and His glory and His presence is awesome. You ain't seen nothing yet. And that's all. Give it up for Terry. If you think it's easy to walk up here and like talk in front of your peers, it's it's not easy. He did a good job. You know, um, it's amazing, uh, and I, I say this often for those of you that have been here a lot. Upstairs from the platform, you have a, an interesting vantage point, an interesting view of the congregation, and I can uh, during the worship service, I'll see Sister So and So who's getting her praise on. I'll see Brother So and So who's just He's not somebody that's going to dance, but I'll see him raise his hands and see tears come down his uh, face. And you go, what's the big deal? I know their stories. I know the stories behind Sister so and -so who had a major addiction problem and God brought her through. And if she had quit, you know, man, that wouldn't have been happening. She wouldn't have anything to, to thank God for. But somewhere along the line, and it wasn't a pretty picture at the time, because I know her story, in the middle of addiction, she prayed. She said, God, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this mess. I don't know how, unless you do it. And you know what God was saying? Oh, sis, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Brother so-and-so, who doesn't do anything, moved to tears, you know. Um, I know his story. I know a guy who was a pool hall owner and who lost cars in gambling and lost, did crazy stuff. He was the last person you could imagine to be a Christian. And for years he was an usher in our church upstairs. And all I can remember is during a testimony service, he would stand up, Brother Durham would stand up, lower his head and just say, I'm just so thankful. And that's all I could get out. And he began to weep. This tough guy that was a bouncer in a bar and owned all these tough places. There was a point in his life where he said, God, I don't know if you can do anything with my life. And God was up there saying, you ain't seen nothing yet. Today, Brother Durham is no longer with us, but his grandson sits in his same seat and wasn't raised in church. And guess what? He's the one that's got the tears rolling down his eyes because a grandpa said, God, I don't understand, but I know. I haven't seen it yet, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You ain't seen nothing yet. Winston Churchill. Anybody know who Winston Churchill was? Yeah. He was the prime minister of England during World War II. We've got this really uh, pretty uh, picture of him now in the history book, but the truth be told, he was not a popular guy at the end of the war. As a matter of fact, he was voted out of office. Okay? This is it, I promise. Just hold on for one second. He was voted out of office. He, he was not a popular guy at the end of the war. Many of those people did not like him. I don't know why, but they didn't like him. He was asked to speak at a college commencement. And um, 
It's amazing. He walked up. He, by this time, he was older and kind of crippled with a cane. He walked up to tell these college graduates some inspiring speech. You know, they're thinking this is going to be an hour-long inspiring speech or something. He walked up to the microphone and simply said this, Don't give up. Never quit. Put the microphone down and sat back down. That's the advice he had for you. That's the advice that Terry gave us tonight. Never quit. Don't give up. You ain't seen nothing yet. God's got huge plans for your life. I don't care what the report card said in the last week or two when you got it. Next year, you ain't seen nothing yet. Put those grades in the hand of God and tell Him, say, I'm going to study. I'm going to do this stuff. You can do some great things with God's help. I don't care what the home looks like when you go home tonight. I don't care who's passed out on the couch. I don't care who's taken what. You just got to say, God, I know I ain't seen nothing yet. And begin to pray. Say, God, I don't understand my family situation, but I know that you've got a plan. You have a future, God. I pray that you'll do something in my family. You ain't seen nothing yet. I don't care what's happening in your life right now. I don't care what your life is missing. Just say, God, I know I haven't seen it yet, but it's going to come. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. If you would have told me five years ago I'd be standing here in front of you guys, I would have laughed at you. I don't like microphones. It's not my thing. But at some point in my life, I had to say, God, I don't know. Here, take it. It's broken. It's messed up. It's my life. And you know what he said? You ain't seen nothing yet. And I felt something in my spirit this week as I was praying. I feel like we just hit this like ceiling. And I'm like, God, we've got to get to the next level with the youth ministry. What do you want to do? And just God gave me a vision. And we haven't seen anything yet. That's all I can say. We ain't seen nothing yet what he's got planned. Why don't you stand with me tonight? We ain't seen it. I believe God wants to do something in somebody's life tonight. These guys are going to sing a song. I want to invite you. Not everybody, but if you feel led to come up and say, God, I don't even know what's going on in my life. I want to give my life to you, Lord. Maybe it's like something at home. Yeah. Everything's cool in your heart, but there's stuff that ain't nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Sing something, you guys. Sing, say, he can move the mountains. Our God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Jesus Christ. 